Hello everyone, this is Kendra Morgan. Welcome to the Teen Tiny Summer Florals video hop featuring Summer Quarters digital designs. All of the creators participating in the hop today are using digital stamps and floral designs by Summer Quarter Designs. A link to the Etsy shop is in the description box below along with the coupon code to receive 20% off your order until the end of August. This video hop here on YouTube is hashtag driven, which means that the hashtag that appears in the title for each video can be activated to provide a complete list of the hop's participants. Please take the time to stop at each of the talented participants on the hop, leave a comment at each stop, and consider subscribing. The more channels you leave comments on, the more chances you have to win the giveaway, which is your choice of two digital floral stamps from Summer Quarters. Each comment on each video will give you an entry into the drawing. You can earn double entries for following and commenting on Summer Quarters Instagram page. Since you're here at my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. The card I made for today's hop features the daisies digital stamps that were painted with shimmer spray and embellishment mousse. The background is made with Legion Stonehenge black watercolor paper that was cut down to three and three quarter inches by five inches. I used the leafy green stencil by Simon Hurley and I placed it on top and secured it with some painter's tape on the back. I'm using Nouveau Embellishment Mousse in Citrus Green and I'm taking this palette knife here and I am going to be spreading this evenly across the top of this stencil. Now when I first took this out of the jar it was a little clumpy but the more I worked with it it started to smooth out. So it's been a while since I've posted a YouTube video and I want to explain why. Um, I'm a teacher and I accepted a new position at a high school. I'm, I've been teaching middle school for the past five years and I uh, was really excited to be able to get a job as a business teacher teaching digital information technology and uh, our school started back August 10th. So I've had to learn a whole new school, a whole new program, still waiting on software that I need to learn as well, but I just haven't had a whole lot of time to do much of anything. I will admit that when I'm stressed, my creative juices do not flow very well. So I kind of struggled a little bit with where to go with this card, um, but I think it ended up turning out okay. So I live in Florida and our school district decided right before school started that we're gonna offer this virtual option because um, I guess a lot of kids were wanting to sign up for Florida Virtual, but they wanted the kids to be able to have the option to be taught by local teachers. So they came up with this idea for us to log in and the kids join us during, during the class time during the day to join in on Google Meet. So we've been having to juggle both. So it's been a little challenging, I must say. So back to my project, I removed the stencil and the painter's tape and I just thought this turned out really, really pretty. So I'm setting it aside to dry and um, at this point I kind of didn't really know where I was going with this project. I just knew that I wanted to incorporate these colors because this is one of my favorite colors and I got this stuff all over my hands. So I'm going to clean up my mess and then we're going to move on to the digital stamps. So I had printed out the daisies digital stamps onto some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and then I cut them out using my brother's scan and cut. And I'm using Dilution Shimmer Spray in the bubblegum pink color. And after shaking it up really well, I opened it up and I put some down on my glass media mat so that I could paint the flower petals using a paintbrush. Now, of course, I sped up this video, uh, this part of my video quite a bit because I was taking my time with this whole process and I didn't want to mess it up. So the centers of the flowers were then colored with um, a Copic marker in the maize color. Next, I place some of that same citrus green embellishment mousse on my mat and I'm using an aqua watercolor pen to paint the leaves on next to the daisies. I could not find a Copic marker that matched the leaves that were on my background. So this was the only solution that I could come up with and it actually turned out really pretty. So um, 
I didn't want the white edge around the flowers either. That was really bothering me. So I decided to use a black Copic marker and just color around those, um, anything that was white, even in the center there. So I decided to add a little bit more pink shimmer and paint that onto the edges because there was still a little bit of white but I didn't want it to be black so I basically got rid of all of the white. Now I'm cutting a hot pink piece of cardstock down to four and five and a quarter for the frame and then I'm using a piece of lemon lime twist cardstock by Stampin' Up! as my card base and I decided to cut it lengthwise down the middle to make it a top folding card. So I'm using the Miss You dies from the Well Written Die Set by Stampin' Up! And I'm cutting this out of this pink cardstock twice so that it will have some dimension. And I'm gluing the pieces together using my Nouveau glue pen. And I have to apologize for the chainsaw sound in the background. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but uh, we had a tree cut down oh, several months ago. And I've been asking my husband for quite a while now to, to haul off the pieces of wood because we've got a hurricane. If you guys are watching the news, we've got two of them actually headed our way and so he's out there doing that and i'm not going to complain at all so i have to do my my voiceover with uh, the chainsaw sound in the background hopefully you can't hear it too much so i'm just gluing my pieces down now to my background and after looking at the card um, i decided that it needed something else but first i'm going to glue down here my daisies using my 3d foam squares i use some bigger ones and then the smaller squares to go behind the leaves. There were a couple of places on my background that got a little smudged, so I'm trying to place these daisies over those areas so you can't see them anymore. And um, I kind of did this a little backwards. I glued everything onto the background before gluing all the pieces together. So here I'm gluing my background down to my frame and then my frame onto my card base. I'm taking some clear wink of Stella and I'm painting the centers of the flowers with that to, to make them sparkle too because the petals were already sparkly from that shimmer spray and I just thought it needed to be shiny as well. So here, um, after gluing everything together, I thought that the card needed something else and so my mom suggested a flamingo and I was like, oh, that's perfect. So I have this die set and I haven't even used the flamingo on it before and there's these little tea tiny I guess they're the black pieces for the beak of the flamingo and the eyeball, but I, lo I ended up losing those pieces. But this is a piece of scrap cardstock that I had when the last time I used the shimmer spray, and it was lighter than the pink, and I thought that that would be perfect for his legs and for his wings. So I cut the, the legs and the wings out using my Big Shot, and here I am trying to mess with getting out those black, <laughs> black pieces, and then... I don't even know what happened to them. They just, they disappeared. But um, I'm, I decided to cut out two layers of the flamingos and I cut off the legs of one of the layers so that it wouldn't be wonky looking. And I'm gluing the, uh, the flamingo with the, the upper half onto the other piece and I'm gluing the legs that I cut out of that scrap piece of paper. And I'm also gluing down the, the wings. So after searching for those black pieces <laughs> and not finding them, here I am just coloring the beak and the eye using a Copic marker. And it worked, ended up turning out really cute. So here I'm just trying to figure out placement for my flamingo and I'm going to be gluing him down using my Nouveau glue pen. And I thought I'd add some bling. So here's some black rhinestones I kind of placed in all of the um, black areas just to add a little bit more sparkle because you can never have too much sparkle, right? So this basically just finishes up my card for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to click on the hashtag in the description box below so that you can visit all of the other awesome creators that have participated in the Teen Tiny Summer Florals Hop. I appreciate all of my subscribers. Don't forget to comment so that you can enter the drawing. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're not a subscriber already, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. You can also follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook at Cards by Kendra. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. 
Happy card making!